Protection. What's good, fam? Got another move set. Now, this guy, a lot of you might not recognize unless you know, like Pure Raisu. And I know I've been saying about the past two videos that I was going to get into my other move sets my CM Punk, his indie hybrid move set, and Daniel Bryan slash Brian Danielson's hybrid move set, Matt Sidell. A.K.A. Evan Bourne, his hybrid move set, and of course I got Chris Hero. I just finished up Castagnoli the other day. I got MVPs. Who else? I don't know. I listed some of them on the other video, but I'm gonna get to them. But it seems like every time I think about it, I'm over at Cause WS and I see somebody with, you know, another wrestler that I like, and I see that they need a move set. So. You know, I'm much obliged to do it for him. But if you don't know who Nakajima is, you got to check him out. Dude has probably got the best kicks in all of, not just pure race, who not just, you know, over in Japan, but in wrestling period. Be it over here, the indie scene, wherever. Dude, st his kicks are real stiff and to the point, and the majority of his moveset revolves around kicks. So it wasn't too awful hard to make as far as the chain grapples go. I just used almost every kick in there. Not all of them, but ones that look good and a couple of surprise ones. And then, of course, for the groggy grapples I used, you know, a lot of his, his signature moves, like the half hatch suplex, which the neck lock suplex works for, and, of course, the northern light bomb and the brain buster. So all of those work out. As far as his, uh, well, some of his other signatures, the elbow, running elbow in the corner, and then some ground kicks, you know, kicks to the head. I use the repeating kicks to the chest, too. That also works. And then on his signatures, used, of course, the ankle lock. You know, he grapevines it, so I think uh, ankle lock three is what works real good for that. For the R15... I kind of use one that I put together, and you'll see at the end of the video how to make it it's real simple. It's a two-part move, nothing to it. Just change the speed up a little bit. And for the the death row, you know that that's the bad part. There ain't no kicks on this game. That any type of reverse roundhouse kicks or any kicks that really you know back of the head type kicks. But the only kick that really does the back of the head is is the spin roundhouse kick, which of course you probably see in uh, Mr. Kennedy, Mr. Anderson, whichever one. His move said he used it. I used it for the finisher because it attacks the back of the head and he also, in the death row, hits the ground. Whereas in the R15, when he does the kick, he lands on his feet. So I had to create that one. But they work in game, you know what I'm saying? They look, they look good enough to use. And I'll, I'll allude to that when I do my, my commentary. So when I use the pure race of dudes, I'm going to try to do some of that Japanese commentary. <laughs> but here's how to create it, man. Rate, comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. How this boy, baby.